Hello everyone, my name is Paul Richards and today I'm going to show you how to add a, a green screen background to your webinar. Um, there's two ways to do this. One is you can capture your entire video conference, your entire webinar uh, from the HDMI output of your computer and bring it into a live streaming software like vMix which we're looking at here and you can actually then add green screen effects, overlays, all those types of things and make a really highly professional recording of your webinar um, and stream it to YouTube live to be recorded and available live on other content delivery networks. Or you can take the green screen technology and transfer it into your video conference call, which I'm going to show you how to do that with Zoom right now. So first of all, how do we, uh, how do we add a green screen? So I've got a, I'm, I've got a green screen here but it's still green. So what I do is I double click um, my video layer and at the, here it says color key, which is the chroma key effect. And I've already kind of uh, tweaked this to where, where I think it looks good, but really it's a couple clicks of a button and now I've added a chroma key. So I can now, I, I actually added, I'll really quickly show you how I did this. I added my camera layer over this video layer. So um, now it looks like I'm sitting in this room. Um, there's another way to do this is I have a virtual set here. Um, and this virtual set allows you to take your talent layer and make it a green screen capable camera. So now, and, it, and just if you haven't used vMix before, the left hand side is your preview and the right hand side is your, what you're actually live streaming and recording. So uh, once I have it here, now I can add animated titles uh, to actually talk about, um, you know, uh, my actual experience, uh, whatever the webinar is about. You can actually, uh, in this system here, I could zoom into my virtual set and potentially change what is actually being shown on the screen. Um, so I could show a different picture maybe or a video layer. Uh, it looks a little crazy because that is myself on that video layer. Uh, but a whole bunch of different things you could do. Um, let's see here, different, different things you could show um, on that screen. And imagine that not only is all of that being live streamed, uh, which is great. And we'll quickly, let's just take a look at what that looks like. So as you can see here, uh, we have our web conferencing system here. And then we take the HDMI, capture it with USB, and uh, live stream it out with this software. And then the other way, which everyone seems to keep uh, being so interested about, now keep in mind, we do this a lot. And I, the way I like to do it is I like to capture the video conference or the webinar and then live stream it, and add all of the branding and the overlays and the effects with my computer that way. But you can do it the other way. And what that is called is this external. So external, there's some settings in here we can look at is uh, basically I'm going to give a 1280 by 720 external stream uh, of my live stream uh, available as a, what's called a virtual webcam. So once I've done that, I can actually go into Zoom. So right now I'm using my internal webcam. Uh, and now I've selected my webcam in Zoom to be the output of vMix or my live streaming software. So that's pretty cool. So now, um, my, so now I've taken all the things that I have available to me um, with overlays and you know, uh, video previews and stuff. I guess why don't I stop my share? And now inside Zoom, I have the ability to use virtual sets, uh, whether you're using GoToWebinar or some other webinar platform, maybe Cisco Event Center. Now you've got a really professional looking um, video output um, for your webinar. So that's the other way to add a green screen to your webinar. Um, and it's in HD and it looks great. And we've got some really good ways to, um, to do this. So that's the other way you can do this. The, I guess they're really both just as good. The difference is, is that if you live stream your, your video conference or your webinar, you, now hundreds of thousands of people can watch it and it's automatically recorded recorded for you, let's say if you're using YouTube Live, already recorded on YouTube for you. So you don't need to have a huge hard drive to store everything on your laptop. 
So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, those are the two ways that you can add a green screen to your webinar to make it a uh, much more uh, powerful message.